All right, 2 Timothy is a book in the Bible that I don't go to very often, but it has a lot of uh, a, a lot of power in it. And Paul, he's writing a letter, and at this time he's imprisoned, and he's writing a letter to his friend and former traveling partner, Timothy. And in chapter one, Paul's encouraging Timothy to keep his faith strong and to not be fearful. Now, 2 Timothy 1.7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Discipline. Now, at the time, Timothy was experiencing great opposition, um, and some people didn't like that he was young or that he was associated with Paul, but his, oppos- his opposition was starting to intimidate him. And so what happens when we get intimidated? When we get intimidated, we start to lock up, or we're not as effective as we were meant to be. Now, remember, God has not given given us a spirit of fear and timidity, right? So, like, I know right now our stakes are not as comparable. They're not comparable to Paul or Timothy, right? We're playing baseball. We're baseball players. Um, But there are times when we might get intimidated, right? Maybe you heard about another team or another pitcher, or you're up there in the in the last inning and you're you you got a runner at third base and you're trying to score them, right? And so a little bit of fear starts to to creep in, and maybe you start to lock up, right? But no matter where we are or what situation that you're in, you can always stand firm in the promise that God has not given us a spirit of fear. And since Jesus, through His perfect love, has overcome fear, we don't have to let it paralyze us. So. 1 John 4.18 says, such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. And so I know it's easier said than done, but the next time that you're afraid or fearful, turn to Jesus and pray. Be the confident, effective person that he has made you to be.